What will be the next build? Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to the Retro Room. And as you may know, I recently finished my uh, project of the uh, Batman 1989 Bat Cave for my uh, Hot Wheels Batmobile just behind me here. But anyway, I went away and I've uh, had a thing about what I want to do next. Now, I've chosen three projects, but I do not know which one to do. So I'm asking for your help. So I'm now going to pitch to you my three uh, ideas that I have and I'd like you to vote on them. Details of how to vote will be at the end of the video, but for now let me go through the ideas that I have. Option one. Yes, for option one, I have uh, gone for the Axis Chemicals escape scene when the Batmobile uh, drops its bombs and uh, gets the hell out of there. Uh, I'd like to do that scene. It'll be very interesting. Uh, obviously, there are, you know, vessels and ladders and pipes and all sorts going on in that diorama. But let's have a look at the vehicle that I've chosen to use. And it is this, uh, originally a Eagle Moss Collections thing. Uh, you, uh, you know, well, those subscription services where you could uh, get sent a Batman related vehicle uh, as part of your collection. So I've chosen this one because it's a good size, it's a 124 scale I believe and also comes with these two oil drums which I'm going to plan on casting again and uh, making more of them. It also comes with a little Batman as well, not going to need them in this particular diorama but that's what we're looking at for that one. So that's option one, the Axis Chemicals escape scene for the Batmobile. Option number two. Yes, it is Batman's armory. And uh, yeah, this will be quite an interesting one. Lots going on here, not just the safe like uh, container that holds the uh, bat suit in, it also holds all these equipment in as well. And we've got these surrounding areas and there's rocks and there's platforms and there's a staircase I think as well. So that'll be an interesting one. Now I'm going to model it on this, which is the Mezco Batman, which is uh, obviously 112 scale. I'm not just going to be making the diorama though, I'm also going to be making mods to this figure. So the cape I do find, he looks like a half opened umbrella, which doesn't look very good uh, sitting you know, inside that uh, safe like uh, thing. So I'm going to redesign my own cape, uh, have a bit more heavy and a bit more so it's, you know, it is sort of come down to his size a bit more. Nothing wrong with these capes particularly, but they do sort of sit quite open up and you can add your own wires and things, but it really needs more weight to keep these down. Also, I want to have it so there are two options, you know, for the suit, either him dressed up, ready to go to work, or I'm going to take a casting of his head Obviously then remove the face parts and the eyeballs and take another casting so it looks like it's just an empty cowl sitting on top of the suit. And I will take all these magnets out to assist for that uh, new head to sit on there. So that's option number two. And finally. Probably one of the strangest vehicles in Batman's arsenal. It is the Bat Ski Boat. Uh, I believe it goes under a few names, but I think Bat Ski Boat is the more common one. And uh, I think this could be probably the most complicated of the builds. So obviously we have the sewer element, which is uh, brick lined. And uh, obviously there's light coming in there. There's water effects to think about. And obviously there'll be a couple of penguins in there launching some missiles off. But they'll be a, a reasonably big build. And again, I'll be using the Eagle Moss Collections uh, vehicle here. It's not an absolutely identical uh, look. I, I think the canopy is a little bit too big for this, but it doesn't really matter. For this one, I'm planning on stripping it all down and repainting this because it's got, so, it's a bit weird. It's got some almost sort of shimmer like a glittery shimmer effect to it, which I want to remove. And uh, yeah, let's make it a bit look a bit more interesting. Now these do unscrew these parts, so I can do a proper paint job on this when it comes to that. Also for the armory builds, uh, it will be a mixed material. So I'll probably will be, go be using 
uh, the foam board and uh, I'll be finishing everything off with you know, metal components and it will like it so the door can open and close you know you can turn the you know the safe handle and things will move around so there we go there are your three options option one the Batmobile access chemicals escape scene the uh, Batman armory again using the mixed materials uh, there will be one thing I'll mention actually is all three of these will have lighting effects as well. It won't just be like a dark diorama like the one behind me. I'm gonna, going all out on these. It will be fully lit and things will move and work, you know, if they should be doing that. And finally, uh, the bat ski boat in the sewer scene. And there we go. So now it's time to vote. So I've left a link in the description below or you can head over to my community page and it will be the latest one on there. And obviously, just click the one you want to see the most, and hopefully we'll get a good result. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you go away and vote on this. Uh, I really can't choose between the three. I think they're all going to be pretty good builds, but which one do you want to see the most out of these three? I'll be back for my end of the year show, just after Christmas. And until then, I'll see you later. It's Matt in the retro room. Join Matt in the retro room. Watch Matt in his retro room. Subscribe for more and stay tuned.